Well, as we leave the brilliant, fabulous uh, cave vibe, uh, we enter a more monochrome, uh, ugly reality. What used to be a donkey path, yeah, it's now like a little asphalted uh, lane and a half highway. Yeah, in my memory, this this way was. A uh, handmade road, one rock at a time. You know, large flagstones placed near each other, and the Greeks would ride their donkeys. So, so. And they made their own saddles, their own wooden saddles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, stick out my thumb uh, to flag a left. My knee is like shot. Uh, but the Greeks, whizzing by in compact cars, uh, they don't even make eye contact with me uh, when they see if they're frightened by an old man hitchhiking alone. Unsympathetic brush-offs, yeah. After a few of those, huh? I resolve I'd rather limp towards Lindos than sacrifice my cave high with goddess. Yeah, along the roadside, earthy, <laughs> with her fantastic eyes, tantric eyes, visions. Uh, she photographs. I just gave her my camera. The villas with the beautiful flowers cascading over the walls. So. Until we finally uh, reach the hill crest, uh, overlooking windows, looking down, where we can look down into windows. Mm. Yeah, always a world-class divine view. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Linda was originally sold in 2004 reasons. It's just so drop dead gorgeous scene. Uh, well, thankfully, the Greeks have made it into a national heritage village, and so dumbass architecture is forbidden. Mm-hmm. We wandered down the serpentine cobble lanes and paused what? before my former apartment with Cleopatra. We rented the upper stairs from Zambico at a grocery downstairs, and our rent was $17 a month. Mm -hmm -hmm. Back in the day, huh? Oh, we loved that scene up there, huh? We fucked until dawn. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, um, well, after we returned from Afghanistan and Pakistan in 1968, it's not in the book, uh, nature ate it up. So, yeah, we did make it. Uh, well, we get back to Cleo's rented house, and a snake assaults me violently. During my first LSD trip, hey, yeah, beats me up in her kitchen. Mmm. Yeah. This imprints an extremely psychotic vibration. Hard to get rid of. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, flying high first LSD trip. Mm. So, Cleopatra and I are forced to rent a more inaccessible private shelter for ourselves above Zambico's grocery. Oh, what a wonderful man. Yeah. Oh. Sunbathe nude? Mm -hmm. Smoke hashish? And we just adore each other's bodies so much. She's 30. I'm 20. Over. Yeah, yeah, uh, phew, uh, yeah. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. So I go inside Zambico's grocery. It's still there, huh? And uh, inquire, oh, well, there's her, uh, Zambico's daughter. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, uh, she lets me know Zambico. 
<clears throat> passed away. I love John Baker. He had the most intelligent humor. He was very bright and, uh, and very diplomatic. And he loved, I'm not sure exactly why so much, but he loved that I lived in a cave. And every time I'd come in for some candles or onions, he would say, uh, Spigliamo uh, elefantas orea? <laughs> Spigliamo orea? Your Ganesh caves? Like, cool, yeah. <laughs> Spiglia caves. Yeah. Zambika, miss him. Well, we uh, flow into the Lindos Plaza. The goddess was there, no? The body was in the body. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. And relax on a wooden bench overlooking, uh, you know, orchards of uh, orange trees uh, descending all the way to, oh, oh that lovely white sand and those bees down there. It smells so good, too, those oranges, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we're just waiting for the last bus of the day back to Rhodes. What a day in the cave, huh? Oh, yeah.